today if you're just joining us my goodness 2016 is here and if those of you that aren't prepared I know I'm not because it just happened overnight like what happened it's a new year already we have Regina Santos here she is a professional coach and she will help us to really focus on what we need to do uh, the things we need to accomplish all the goals that we set for ourselves. now Regina tell us how important is it to do goal setting Goal setting is great. It's really great for you know so that it can actually give you somewhere to look to, somewhere to work towards. And the one thing, the things that I love to encourage, and we all, uh, many coaches love to encourage to, for people to get to their goals, is to stick with their values. And that's one of the most intrinsic things that you can always do is always just list out your values. Actually, write them down and say what's really important to you. What are your values? Like, is it? family? Is it beauty? Is it health? Is it nutrition? Is it service to the community? What is valuable to you? You named all my values right there in order, in fact. Wow. How'd you know that? I don't know. <laughs> no, um, for a lot of Filipinos, family is one of the most important values, right? And then perhaps career will follow, but family really is is the center of it all. Mm -hmm. And when you're working, like I mentioned, we have multiple roles. How do you balance, you know, everything else that you're doing? Yeah, really, and it's really always about reconnecting to the values, you know, reconnecting to those values. And sometimes, some, you know, we, you can use objects to reconnect with your values. For example, if you're going out through, through your, your day and you have a photo of your kids on your phone and, you know, you get really overwhelmed, you're saying, oh my gosh, I'm stuck in traffic and I'm trying to, like, get somewhere and mm -hmm. this is getting really overwhelming, then all you have to do is just look down at your phone and look at, you know, and I know a lot of people do that. You know, they look down at their phone, they see, okay, well, that's what's important to me. This is what this is about. And it'll probably help you shift your perspective. Right, because when I'm stuck in traffic on the 405, I'm going, ah, I just want to get home. And then I get home, and my kids are like, hi, mom. And I'm like, ah, I'm still upset <laughs> <laughs> because you were stuck in traffic that whole time. But yes, you're right. Reconnect. Think about, I'm going home to these kids yeah. that are going to drive me crazy, but still, I'm going home to my family. <laughs> yeah, they drive you crazy, but because, but you love them, mm -hmm. and it's all that noise. It's actually better to have that noise sometimes versus, you know, being in silence and not having a family, not having what you wanted. You know what mm -hmm. I mean, right? Mm -hmm. okay. It's all worth it. Yeah, so understanding your values, listing them down. Absolutely. What is most important to you, and when you're overwhelmed during your day, make sure to just go back to that happy place, right? <laughs> it, and, and like we mentioned, it, it might not be happy all the time, but it's remembering to focus on what's important in your life. Yeah, and that's the key, G, is to think about things as almost being fulfilling because happiness comes and goes. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, happiness, will, you'll have happiness and sadness and joy and mm -hmm. anger and all those emotions that you're allowed to feel because you're a human being, mm -hmm. but the question is, are you fulfilled? And that's what you want to stay focused on, is living the most fulfilling life that you have. Wow. That's, that's re I mean, I'm getting goosebumps. Like, that's deep. You know, honestly, I always think about my life in the Philippines and my life here. And a lot of the Kababayans that I get to talk to, it's the same. It's like, what was your life in the Philippines like? And what is your life here? And I honestly 100% have to say that I live a fulfilling life in America because I don't, I'm not worried about, you know, what people might think or image. Because in the Philippines, I feel like it's all about that. Diba? Ano sasabihin ng kamag-anak mo? Ano sasabihin ng, um, you know, yung mga kapitbahay mo? You know, a lot of it has to do with who you are, your reputation. And here, I feel like living um, anonymously, sort mm. of, you know, in this in in this big you know the united states of america everybody's you know working hard you work hard you go home you enjoy the fruits of your labor that to me is fulfilling okay yeah that's good okay well well there i go sharing about my life i'm sorry <laughs> I, 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 don't I, I have that be, effect on people sometimes <laughs> <laughs> i don't tend to be chris aquino no. about it but chris aquino usually you she interviews someone and then she ends up talking about herself but Sorry, I pulled the Chris Aquino on all of you. 
<laughs> Don't even worry about that, G, because that's like I said, you know, I tend to have that effect on people because I really love, I'm, you know, one of the things about coaching is that you really want to get to know the person that's in front of you. Mm -hmm. And it's about being present. And, you know, I love being with you. And yeah, I have such a good time with you. And who wouldn't want to know more about G, well, you guys, right? Uh, no, but Regina, really, there's something about you that makes people just open up like that. Uh, I'm sorry, I had to share about my life here. I'm coming by in today. But here on the show, when we return, I promise it's not gonna be about me anymore. We're gonna make a recipe <laughs> that um, Regina is gonna teach us really healthy, easy to make. You can make it for your loved ones and it's a great snack, yeah? Absolutely. All right, we'll be right back here on Come Buying Today. Join us.